Hey guys, Clone Guy here, and today I have two replays for you guys featuring two different auto loaders. And uh, yeah, this is me playing. This is modern. Um, this was after I recorded the Playing Tanks That Kill Me video. I said, I really need to scratch some rust off. So I platooned up here with Astari. He's in his bat chat, Arnie. You're wondering, what on earth are you doing with a player in the bat chat, Artillery? Well, I'll tell you the story. Um, he was playing uh, Tech Tree Tanks. Tier 10s, should I say, the whole time. And just putting out 7k games consistently. It's like ridiculous. Like, how do you do this? And then, uh, and then his pizza arrived. And so he's like, dude, I gotta, I gotta, I wanna play, but I, I can't play a tank while I'm eating pizza. And so he pulled out the bat chatter and he was like, alright, fine, I'll allow just this once. And so that's what he's done. We're in the 57 heavy. <clears throat> Gun handling, as you can see, is doing pretty well. We've hit the Coppola twice now. One of them has penned. And then that last one also goes straight, but we didn't aim at the proper Coppola. Uh, but yeah. T57 Heavy, the one drawback is the gun handling. 6.0 shows up, no drawbacks. T57 Heavy is a powerhouse right now. It's ridiculously strong. Something you don't know about the side armor, or maybe you do, uh, the side hull, is it is incredibly angled. This thing has some of the best side armor. There's some of the trolliest side armor. People, I don't think, realize just how trolly it is. Um, we're going to make a play here, and as soon as we do, Kronvong shows up, who has been sitting in his spawn circle. And now he's like, don't worry, I'll play the game now, boys. And he gets uh, blasted for playing the game. Uh, but he also blasts me in return. And that's just how the game works. You find your tents camping in the back. They don't want to play, and then they do that. But that's okay. That is okay. We're trying to bait him with our side armor. And while we do that, um, I ordered one of my own books. Well, yeah, of course I did. Um, but I, I ordered one for one of my subscribers who won a giveaway. Congratulations. Um, that one isn't in yet, but I also ordered another one for my brother. Which is soft cover, not the hard cover, which I, which is for the subscriber, and it's already in, which is kind of blowing my mind because my printer, printing company is like, yeah, it takes about ten days to print after something is ordered, and then it'll take two days to ship, so that's about twelve days before someone receives the book after they've ordered it. I'm like, okay, Amazon says two to three days, but obviously I believe you guys because you're the guys printing them. Uh, my book is already in, and it took three days, just like Amazon said it would. And that's kind of blown my mind a little bit. And because that means you guys are probably also receiving books. So it's like, wow. But hello there, sir. One, two, three, and four. He didn't seem to want to shoot back. Okay, that's fair. That's fine. He can do what he wants. Uh, but we put put a full magazine into that. What is that? Chieftain. Good. We're up to 1,400 damage. 1,400 damage. Dang. These rolls, you know, that's, wait, how are you only up to 1400? Did one of them not pen? Now we're up to 22. I don't know. I don't know this game because we put one into the AMX M4 earlier as well. So I, I, we must be rolling incredibly low or one of those shells must not have penned. And I'm, I'm just confused. I don't get the game right now. I'm still trying to figure it out. Things just don't seem to make sense right now, but you know, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Um, Somebody, somebody, who's, who's sending me messages? Well, who could do this? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna be loaded. And we're gonna hopefully put a full magazine in this guy. He's almost full health. We put one. We put two, and he gets eviscerated, dead. That's all we're able to do. And then this guy shows up. We're gonna put one, and then guess what? We're gonna put two. No, just kidding. He's gonna get eviscerated just like that. The enemy team is just dying in in droves. Like, dang, what is this? World of Tanks? Oh, it is World of Tanks. That's how it plays now. Um, epic victory or epic defeat? Which is just called defeat, because they don't want to tell you it was a terrible defeat and you're terrible at the game. Um, they tell you close defeat when it's close. But we're going to put four shells in this guy. One pen, two pens, three pens, and then this one bounces off. And that's the side armor I was just talking about. It's really good. And we bounce off there. Now we're up to 5,000 damage. Wait a minute. What? How did that happen so quickly? I don't know. Okay, I know this tank has tons of DPM, but suddenly we do 3,000 damage after... Working so hard for 1,200 damage, it's like, wait, what? Ah, uh, what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> We're gonna put one, two, three, and finally he's gonna angle, but he takes a little too long. Actually, he doesn't. We put that right underneath his drive wheel and into quote unquote his side armor there, beneath the side skirts and around the tracks. Angle here for the E50M. He fires into our tracks instead of our lower plate. We're gonna be loaded here in any moment. Any moment. We're gonna be loaded. We're gonna hopefully kill him and maybe break. 
get close to breaking 7,000. We put one. No, we don't. Someone else finishes him off, but you know what? I'll take that. That's probably going to be a first class. Um, we're working our way back to ace tankers. We will get there soon, I hope, as we get a feel for the game again. Epic victory, which just means the team, was, the enemy team was terrible, which is typical. Either your team is terrible, the enemy team is terrible. 6,600 damage, almost 67, plus some assist. And we're about to two-mark this bad boy, which I would love to do in the very, very near future indeed. Next, we are on Malinovka. Same platoon. This time, he is in a Kronvong. I am in the Bacetilon 25T. Not the AP, the tier 10. And we'll be doing some spawning. That's the plan, anyway. Uh, but if you guys are receiving your books, those of you who have purchased them, I would love to uh, I'd love to hear from you. See, like, in the comments below. Like, yeah, I got it. You know, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. Um, and I'm still waiting for the ebook version slash the... Uh, the uh, digital copy like where's where why are the digital copies not for sale right now um, I'm gonna email them later today and ask like what's going on where's where's the digital copies what what's the deal with that because I think more people will be interested in those because they're cheaper like immensely but hello there mr. turtle one shell ah 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 two shells ah 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 artillery ah 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 <laughs> And three shells. He's dead. Good. And Artie shoots us. We're gonna get out of dodge quickly because there's another piggy in this game. We've gotta make sure he doesn't hit us. Uh, which Artie hit us? I don't know. There's an M5355 and a CGC, but you don't know what hit you anymore. They got rid of that feature where he's like, ooh, CGC hit damage your tracks. Now it's like, ooh, so many damage your tracks. It was a T1 Cunningham, actually. He's in this game, and he damaged your tracks. It was not artillery. Like, you don't know what, what did it. Uh, gremlins or something got like gremlins on the side of my tank and just like eating away gnawing away at my tracks or something but i don't know they don't tell me hello barask i'm the one spotting you <laughs> there's 700 assist oh there's some more assist thank you i will take that and put it in the bank immediately hopefully collect some interest uh, maybe that interest will get gnawed away as well i don't know it's, i mean come on it's action heroes you never know you never know it's not action heroes it's flashpoint world tanks flashpoint that's the game we're playing right now. Uh, ooh, TVP, hello. Whoop, boom, fire. Ooh, I'll take that. Which feeds me the kill. Thank you very much. We still have four shots, and we're going to keep these four shots for still very, very powerful. There's no need to reload, especially since we're diving down here. M103. Oh, was that M103? Might have been. He misses us there. Somebody misses us. And uh, we're up to two kills. Ha <laughs> ha. Hello there. You miss. And we have no shot. But that's okay. We're spotting you. And dead. Boom. 12. 1250 assist damage done already all off that Baroska. Thank you so much for just feeding me your life force uh, What is that a grill? Maybe that's the guy who missed me. What is that? Skoda that was a Skoda that might have been the guy who missed me. Thanks game for making this so hard to see It's it was already hard. Okay, so when you're putting on doing a voiceover you get like the small screen um, that you get to see the game from and it was pretty hard before the update to see things But you could still see things now with this update. It's so hard being a content creator not doing live videos Commentating is so hard right now, especially on replays from other people It's easier when you're commentating on your own because you can typically remember what happened uh, Because you were the one who lived it but then even after watching the replay sent in by someone else and then commentating over it It's a lot harder. <laughs> it truly truly is uh, but we're going to cycle a reload here and drive and try to get some more spots going. Because uh, this game, the enemy team is crumbling because it's 6.0. Either my team will crumble or their team will crumble. That's the that's the way the game goes. But Clone Guy, technically in every game, one team wins and one team loses. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's it's the games are so fast. That last game, by the way, that we played in the 57 Heavy was less than 5 minutes. Just so you know. Just so you know. Um, hello there, artillery. We put one on the move into the artillery, then we auto lock this guy, we kill him. Now we have two shots left. M103 is trying to get a shot on us, but he's decided he's going to back up in a straight line. Um, okay. Um, fantastic, I guess. Like, he's teaching me the way of the M103. Exactly how to play it. Um, okay, he's aiming at this hole. Alright, in that case, we're going to make you shoot at my hole. You see this hole? Watch this. Ready? First, I'm going to check my minimap because I realize there's a tank destroyer behind me. And he does actually have shots on me. But he's going to drive on to the point where he's out of render. There's also an E4 there who does have shots on me. And there's also an E100 there who has shots on me. 
Um, but none of them seem to be paying attention. We bait the shell from the M103. We have the compass map back open, so we notice the artillery. The artillery comes on the corner, and we shoot him before he can get his gun around. And now we cycle a reload after putting a shell also into the M103, maximizing our clip there as we hit go five for five, killing two pigs and putting another shell in the M103 and getting assist damage off of him as well. And now we're gonna drive or drive away towards these guys uh, and the M103. Who's, 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 who's doing this to me? Who's sending me things? The M103 goes down by Astari and his Kronbong. There's the E100, there's the E4, neither of them seem to want to pay any attention to me, but now I'm not spotted, so it doesn't matter any anymore anyway. Activate our food to get our reload a little bit faster, we're going after this E100, who is clueless, so is this E4, but despite the fact that this E100 has already proven to be clueless, just because he doesn't look at his minimap and he doesn't look at the game around him, um, he does something here which is maybe it's intelligent, or maybe he just found himself um, on the line by accident. And that's, see, notice how he's on the line, we can't actually go around him because of that. I don't know if he did this on purpose, I don't think so. Just because of how he played the rest of this game, which was, you know, terrible, and he's going to do two shots of damage this game. Uh, guess to whom? Yeah, me. Uh, there's one. <laughs> We're going to get to his side. Everybody's putting shells into him now. Um, everybody was shit hitting their shots like like marksmen. We miss our shot there. We kind of shot between his tracks and his hull there. Then we put in his lower plate. And now suddenly nobody can actually hit him, and <laughs> which is kind of funny. Um, but we're going to put two more shells into him, and then he's going to get... Boom, dead, finished off. Somebody does hit, and he goes down. Now that all that's left is this E4, and he's still fairly healthy. We just need to go for a reload. Hopefully we will, and maybe we'll finish him off. I don't know. I do know. I do know. I'm pretending to be like you guys. I don't know who's, what's going to happen. Um, I do know what's going to happen, but we're going to use this bush, but he spots us anyway, so we're going to use this tree, but this is not a tree. This is a house, but maybe it is a tree. Maybe it's a tree disguised as a house. Maybe it's many trees built into a structure. That could be the case. It does look like it. It's made out of logs. Um, but he's looking at me now. He's not looking at me. Um, so now we're going to put shells in him. There's one. We should have killed him with that shot. But the low rolls in this game are ridiculous. And we finish him off there with two hit points left. He goes down. He's dead. We pick up a kill. That's kill number fi five, I think. Yeah, 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 that should be kill number five. If we didn't bounce the shell on the Evil 100, it would have been kill number six. But it doesn't matter. Kill number five. Uh, there we go, 4,700 damage done, not too shabby, plus a bit of assist, 3,300, still only a first class, but I'll take it. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed, please tap that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you go check out Space Fan, and go check out my book, links in the description below, and I'll be seeing you guys all later. Take care everyone, and peace out.